Tonight, we got Big Red up on the table. Big Red's a 2003 Pro X 600. Yeah, yeah, we'll get in. All right, longtime viewers have seen Big Red before. If you're interested in Pro X's, you know that they have a TPS that, you know, if you rebuild your carbs, clean the carbs. Clean the carbs. Oh. Heard that. You have to reset the TPS that's part of the whole ignition system thing on these. At least this one, because it's it's new enough to have the perk that the yellow Polaris electronic reverse button that spins the motor backwards. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. You may have seen this on some earlier videos if you've been around for a long time. But the reason it's in here today is the last time I rode it, the speedometer quit working. Well, I hate when that happens. Well, we all know what that could be. Uh, worst case, it could be drive shaft and chain case bearings. Best case, maybe the drive quit. Maybe it's the cable. Maybe it's the speedometer. We have maybe no truth. Like, maybe the key and like. But if know. the key's broke and the drive is good, Why? that almost always means the drive shaft bearing Pretty is Pretty much bad. a Polaris thing of. Uh... <laughs> Well, Articats do it too. Yeah. Uh, I, same I, thing, same reason. Yeah, mine never had a speedometer on the Articats. <laughs> they were too old. Yeah, what do you need a speedometer for anyway? I think uh, the 92 RXL is the only sled I have that has a working speedometer. <laughs> How do you I'm have not, time to look at it? I'm not worried about the speedometer. I'm worried about my drive shaft bearing being on the way out. I, yes. I don't want to wreck my tunnel or anything. All right. So tonight we're going to do an investigation. We're going to check that out. And uh, worst case, Ontario, we uh, we get into this bag, which contains everything we need to do drive shaft and jack shaft bearings, chain case bearings, all that stuff. Yay. We'll find out. There's even an angle drive for the Speedo in here if that's what's bad. It's a good, it's a goodie bag. That's definitely a goodie bag. All right, we're going to start troubleshooting. <laughs> we'll bring you along for the ride. You. All right, well... Being that this has the perk, it's got uh, a clutch with a different setup with a different helix, so it doesn't just spread open when you go in reverse. So this is a like a modern. Wait, how'd, that, wait a minute, how'd that go again? Spread open. <laughs> so uh, like an, like all modern sleds, and this this is a modern sled to me. To Ooh. me, this is the ultimate. It's even got a just, tool box under there. Wow, that's an oil bottle. When you wanna, right here. When you wanna open up your clutch and take your belt off, you need one of these. All right then. And uh, you, there's a little hole. You thread it into the hole, and it just opens it up. This one's a little bent, so hopefully it works. You may have to straighten it, or I may have to go get the one off my general. It's probably the same exact tool, I'm guessing. Oh, there she went. She, yeah, I, I'm I seeing a see move now. Oh, yeah. there it got easy. Yep. There we go. It was just like belt tension or something fighting me. Got to have a couple of dates first. Maybe the helix. I don't know. Something was fighting me. So, here we go. Oh, I'll have to edit that down. Why? That's long. All right, then. <laughs> But that's how you get the belt off, and I, some people would tell you that's easier. Possibly oh, yeah. me. Yeah, I fought with some of them. Do you actually time have to do that really with the reverse, stuck. with the yellow button? The, every, if you have a reverse with the yellow button, if you have a Polaris electronic reverse, you're going to need to open up your clutch this way. There's no physical no because way to do because it. the way the helix is made the key. <laughs> bearing is bad <laughs> no we got an answer uh here's part of the bearing <laughs> oh hey oh boy yay she is wore right the heck through into the tunnel what oh Holy yeah shit. she's really bad the race is split open uh Holy shit. oh my god yeah. I'd say that's, like, catastrophic. That's catastrophic. So, uh, chain case and jack shaft bearings it is, and I might need some new flanges even. I don't know. Maybe we won't get it done tonight. But we're going to rip her down, and we'll show you. I don't know about you guys, but I think she's got a big can. <laughs> that is a big can. 
Holy cow. I like a big can in a can I lie. And, and she's <laughs> not super quiet, and that is a factory can. Oh, man. 20 pounds? We're making good progress. Yeah, that's a good 10, 10 12 pounds, yeah. She's she's coming apart. Hey. She's barely on the verge of being wore out. My long track, <laughs> my long track uh, 91R XL was cut way back into the tunnel when I got it. Well, I'm hoping the tunnel's okay. We'll yeah, find is. out. I'm hoping the flange is okay. Oh, it is. It looks beautiful. I don't know. The bearing race is split. It's not going to be a big struggle on that it. race. All right, which means that's got to go this way. Pull it towards me, I think. No. No. Got to go the other way. Yes. Got to go the other way? To loosen, unless it's reverse. All right. We got so, a drain pan? We'll get one. This chain case has got a drain plug. Lonnie's wrestling with that. We'll get it drained. Pop off the brakes, pop off the cover, keep disassembling. We got the skid on the floor for the first time ever. Oh, my dog wants to steal my beer. All right, we actually have we have a chain case drain and we have a drain pan for once. This is a totally different way of doing this. I know. Like, usually we just make the mess. It's like changing the oil on my bike or something. Yeah. <laughs> Normally it's just a mess. All right, we'll bring you back. Watching the oil drain is uh, about as exciting as watching paint dry. She's draining a different tension here. Yeah, first look inside the Edge chain case. I've never had one open before. Yeah, it's a chain case. Yeah, that's a different oh. It's a different type of tensioner, though. Yeah, it falls right out through the exhaust. She just falls right out. <laughs> Let me see. She'll flip it around. That's What's the deal? What holds it in? Uh, this is in it oh. rides in this slot right here. There's a slot it runs in. Yeah. Is there a slot? Oh, there's a slot in the cover, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. See, Interesting. You, you probably don't tension that one with the cover off, then. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't I, I'm going to go could. with. I'm going to go with no. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep blowing oh, her yeah. apart. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm a little concerned about if the shaft lived through this or not. I'm pretty sure I have another edge shaft laying around here. But uh, look at how cockeyed that bearing is. I think she spun on the shaft pretty good. Bearing right on you. <laughs> this, this bearing is supposed to be a press fit. Uh, look at the shaft. Well, there was a little bit of a press there i gotta find another edge drive shaft this one is toast not good not good all right here's my drive shaft situation in the middle we have the shaft with the wasted bearing i could weld it up turn it back to size make it work but up here we have another appears to be edge drive shaft with some eight tooth wall brothers drivers and it's missing this collar but this little collar is easily swapped over and here i don't know what this is i think it's maybe iqr with nine tooth involutes uh they're all inch and a sixteenth shafts um uh, i'm debating so i'm definitely not going to use the eight tooths i don't want a monkey with the gearing so i'm either going to switch these onto that shaft or these onto that shaft so I got a whole bunch of work to do with the press and it's going to take me a while. So what we've decided to do is just clean the carbs for the rest of the night. Clean the carbs. Lonnie's still wrenching. He's going to, we're going to get her, we're going to get the jack shaft out too because we're doing all the bearings. But uh, then we're going to quit for the night. But that's not the end of the episode. We're, we're going to do this in one episode, even though it'll take two nights or more. Oh. All right, we're going to show you how easy this jack shaft came out. Obviously, it's captured all the way through there. You can't just go up and out without taking it apart. But being modern, it's got the rotor splined on with this collar. Literally pulled them both off with my fingers, and Lonnie did. What'd you do, Lon? I just kind of went like that. Beautiful. It's out. Beautiful. Oh, man, that's one of those pressed on bearings on the jack shaft, too. Oh, yeah. I, only got, I only got one. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe that bearing's Might still have, good. Oh, well, yeah, but I thought you said you like using the ones with the set screw anyway. Well, we probably will use a set screw on there if it fits. It depends. If it's really, if this is a press fit, which I suspect it is, uh, it's, mm. I think that's a press fit right up. See, there's a shoulder yeah, on the see shaft. The shoulder right there. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels good, actually. No, yeah. you got to replace it. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's going to take a week. It's going to all four of them. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be up here for a week. Yep. All right. I'm going to get a bearing on order right now. There you go. Right really good. The computer's waiting. <laughs> yep. All right. Sign, signing off for Thursday night, we think, unless something crazy happens. Well, uh, that's been known to happen. Could be. <laughs> We're going to clean the carbs. Clean oh. the carbs. <laughs> well, another week, another beer crack, right, Dennis? Oh, thanks for moving the tripod, Daisy. Yeah, got me more in focus. Oh, there we go. So it's a whole week since we last worked on this thing. Um... In, it's been a very busy week, but I did manage to press the drivers off of the one shaft and onto the other shaft, nice. and I got new bearings in the chain case. So that brings us right up to bolting parts together. Sure does. And what's that you're wearing? Oh, it's a leather I picked up off of eBay. Nice. Thanks for asking. So uh, we don't get to wear them much because we're not <laughs> riding much. True. But, uh, so we'll wear them in the shop, keep us nice and warm, turn the heat down. Make sure we get some good grease stains on them and stuff. <laughs> no, no. We're taking it off before we start working on the sled. So, uh, all right. We're going to get back at it. Hey, I want to show you guys some things I absolutely love about this Edge. This Pro X is an Edge. Look at this. That's a factory cutout. So uh, you can just stick your shaft in. That's what she said. That's what she said. And then here's the best thing. All three of these holes are accessed from up top. Oh. So there's no none of this horrible bolt up in the tunnel. No. The edge truly was the finest evolution of the uh, trailing arm sled. This will work. Here we go. Got this all assembled. Dennis preloaded my gears for me. Brad's over there drinking coffee. And squeezing the brake handle. Oh, keep pinching her heart. Oh, oh good enough. Click. One that was click. 37 foot pounds, correct? That was exactly 37.48. That's a little over tight. It's a little much. Hmm. I'll get this used cotter pin back in because. I'm too lazy to run to the other side of the shop and get a new one. Don't don't bend that cotter pin with your fingers, Nutter. You might poke a hole in there. Okay. In, in okay. your finger? In my finger. You might. I've done it. I got a pliers now. It's all good. What drivers did you end up with? I put the stock uh, nine tooth wheels back on. Can you hand me the long, the longer ratchet, the yellow handled electric? Thank you. Oh, I need the socket, the quarter inch drive socket over there too. Good size. Um, should be on the thing. It's a half inch. I would normally have the chain tighter, but the way this tensioner works. Oh, can you squeeze the brake one more time? Squeeze it. Yeah, we'll bring it back when we're full That's of it. fluid. We're almost done on the chain case side. She's all buttoned up. Almost. What's what's missing? Airbox. Well, the airbox. Ignition. The ignition on the airbox. More importantly, no spark. Let's see. Wasn't much of a challenge getting any of this together. No, this thing is super good for serviceability. Yeah. Track. The skid went in pretty easy. Track. Uh, exhaust plopped in, dropped one spring. This airbox oh, is just airbox. a dream. Airbox, how, how did you do that so quick? Yeah, I know. Um, do got to get it onto the carbs. I might need a light. Uh, we'll, we'll see. She's going to start in a few minutes. Tension the track. Good looking slide. It's a good looking slide. Basically, basically dropped right onto the carbs, so that's good to go. My wiring for my heated helmet there. See how it kind of clips in? Yeah. And then you put the rubber strap over it. That's rubber strap's used in a lot of places. Yep. And then I plugged in the big plug, plug in the little plug. Hopefully the fuel is turned on, because this thing is not labeled worth a crap. Oh, we need those. We need those. That should be it. 
Should pull her out and find out. Yeah. We did give it a squirt down the carbs. We didn't blow in the tank like Tommy would do. He is on. And that's how much fuel I put down the carbs. <laughs> we'll give her a little more squirt down the spark plugs. We'll bring you back when she's running. Sounds like a nice happy Liberty twin to me. <laughs> Let's check our track tension and alignment. Uh, she could definitely be a little tighter. Mm -hmm. Alignment's a little off. Alignment's a little off and this side's about right on tension. So I just gotta tighten up the one side. Love that smell. Oh. Here's to getting the Pro X all together. I need that. I've been, work, I've been working really hard for the last hour to get this thing together tonight. I helped a little. Dennis helped. Brad helped. I don't think Brad even got a camera. Brad no. was here for over an hour, helped Help get the track in and the skid in and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there you go. Uh, a little bit newer of a sled than we usually have on the channel, but I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm giving the Pro X a solid A for serviceability, and the reason is that cut so you can get the jack shaft out, and then the fact that the, the three jack shaft flange bolts are all accessible from under the hood. You don't have to crawl up in the tunnel like a normal wedge hood. Yep. Um, drive shaft came out easy, chain, ca chain case came out easy, air box comes off, goes back on easy, exhaust was really not too bad. A lot of springs on the exhaust. There are a lot of springs on the exhaust. But uh, overall, really a, a nicely serviceable sled. Um, yeah, there wasn't a lot to film because it just went together pretty quick. I mean, it's only an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been riding this thing a couple seasons, and this is the first time we've had to do anything to it other than, you know, fill up the oil in the oil bottle. Uh, couldn't be happier with it or with the Liberty Twin. Mm -hmm. So with that said, thanks for all you patrons for uh, supporting the channel all you guys up here on the screen um, without you we probably wouldn't do as many episodes and stuff I mean we get together and work on sleds but it's a great time you help us out with pizza which we had earlier it was good pizza yep a couple beverages here and there um, if you want to become a patron check out the patreon.com something like that there's a link down yeah. in the description um, and, and in the comments you want to support us other ways there's other ways find that out on the links also paypal we like paypal oh we, thanks for saying that yeah Keep going, Dennis. we were good we loved seeing a whole bunch of people out at erx that was fun walking around in the mud with you good times um not much else coming up this winter for snow shows but we will be at a few so check us out yep i want to thank roger wanan for the donation to the shop here thanks, thanks roger, roger. Roger says he lives up in Cromwell and the trail goes through his backyard and he hopes we get to enjoy it someday. Well, me too. I hope we get snow someday. Yeah. But uh, thanks, Roger. We really appreciate it. Thanks to all you patrons. Thanks to everybody else that subscribed. If you're new to the channel, well, we hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe and come back. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll get some snow and see you on the trails.